it's Lorna, welcome to another video. Um, first of all, where I've been, because it feels like, well it has been ages since I last uploaded a video, I think it was like over a month ago, which wasn't like intentional. Um, yeah, basically it's just been quite a busy slash tough time, um, and yeah, how can I explain it? Um, yeah, I've just had like a lot going on, so I've either been like really busy, which is quite good, but then that, um, yeah, because that makes me feel better myself, like I have more um, purpose, but then I, it does have, like take its toll physically, so at times like I've intended to film a video, um, but then I haven't been doing very well pots wise, and I like to feel I don't know, semi, like semi-human when I film a video, um, so that stopped me sometimes. Also, um, I it's kind of, there's lots of reasons why, but I've kind of been having like more of a struggle than usual, like with my mental health at times. Um, there have been lots of factors, I'd say like an ongoing battle with social services, um, like adult social care to get the support. I need around my physical health has been quite a crucial factor but there's been other things in the mix so yeah basically I've just had a lot going on but it feels good to be able to film a video now um yeah I'm in a really s strange spot of my room but I hope it's okay it's quite comfortable <laughs> um but yeah so today's video is going to be kind of continuation of like what to expect with like diagnostic tests or just like health related tests in general um, and yeah this has all been like part of the diagnosis um, process for me um, for POTS um, but some of these tests are quite like common amongst other like um, cardiac type conditions or symptoms um, so yeah the one I'm going to be talking about in this video is an echocardiogram um, and again you can, ha this was more a test I had um, to like rule out other problems um, aside from POTS, um, so yeah that's why I had it, so you don't, it's like a test that you have for like any kind of suspected heart problems really, um, and yeah I think possibly breathing problems but I'm not sure um because it yeah looks at, like breathing I don't know um so yeah an echocardiogram is basically a an ultra scan of the heart like so similar to well the same as what you'd have in pregnancy but instead of your belly it's your heart um and yeah that's what it is really it's I actually had it done quite a while ago, um, so some of this might not be so fresh in my mind, but I think I can share a bit about it. Um, with me, actually, the main yeah, the main struggle for me was actually having the test done. The actual test, I didn't find so so bad. It was quite straightforward. But yeah, what I mean by that, is, yeah, I think I've shared in like other videos about how. Um, I have like certain anxieties about like um, medical tests where I have to be undressed in some way um, which I think is common amongst other people like yeah it's quite normal to feel a bit self-conscious um, so basically like linked to that I would only feel comfortable having my echocardiogram done by um, a female and yeah that's kind of like the same to be honest with most tests of a remotely like intimate nature for me um and yeah at my like so I was referred to have like by my cardiologist like I was referred for loads of different tests and like an echocardiogram was just one of them um and I was referred to have it originally at like the ne my nearest local hospital which is like if within walking distance so that was the most ideal place for me to have it done however it wasn't so ideal in other ways because it they have quite a small cardi um cardiac department and so on like my records it's like stated that I would only have the test done by a female um so yeah it was all on like my notes when they put through the referral but I went like 
to my original appointment to have it done. Um, got there and a man came out, like, yeah, saying I was on this list to have a test and I explained that um, I wouldn't feel comfortable having it done and I had put, had it put on my notes and, yeah, um, and, yeah, they seemed to think that somehow it would be okay if, like, they offered, like, a female chaperone, but it would be, like, still the male actually doing the test. Um, so for me, like I wasn't comfortable with that, um, and I stuck to my guns, and I was glad I did because I do have like quite good reasons as to why, like linked to trauma, um, and that just wouldn't have been suitable for me and wouldn't have been a positive experience. I really don't think I could have done it. So I explained that to them, and they said they said like, oh, we'll call you with a, another appointment and try to make sure that you've got a female. Um, so they did that, they went back later, they looked at like who was on shift on that day and they did say like they can't absolutely guarantee that there will be like a female physiologist doing that, that test on that day um, but they looked at who was on shift and they picked a time that they thought um, so again went there, <laughs> um, um, yeah thought it would be okay that time absolutely same scenario and I was yeah quite annoyed and it's also like I kind of apologised to them as well even though it wasn't my fault um because I'm taking up somebody else's space um and yeah so it's very frustrating and yeah so I could so I ended up going home again and by this point I was really like struggling and they yeah when I was there they said right definitely come at this time and you will definitely have like females so they booked me another appointment and I thought it, it can't happen again so again I gave myself up for it went to a hospital which is a physical effort for me and does flare up my symptoms um and the same thing happened again man comes out to, to yeah do the test um so by that point I just like I, I rang up like the people who arranged the appointments and I said like this I can't do that again because the thing is like it is a it was a test that I was like anxious about anyway and getting myself like geared up to go and have it um, and then to get there and not have it and have to go home and have to like face that whole stress of booking up an appointment it just wasn't like good for me and I said I, I can't do that again so we need to <laughs> either I don't have that test done or we need to find another way around it um and they said that actually they don't know why I was like kept on invited back because actually at that hospital they the only people who are trained to do the echocardiograms are actually male um so that could have all been solved before I was even booked my first appointment um and they basically said if you want to guarantee that you do have like get a female physiologist um then we'll have to book you like at a hospital that's further away like brighton um, did that so all of this kind of delayed it but um <laughs> i yes yeah, so i went to my appointment in right the brighton one which is like a bigger hospital um and has like a larger cardiology department um and yeah to be honest by that point i was just relieved to have it done um i was still anxious about it but i just like thought oh yes at last i'm actually having it done so yeah the actual test i had like a nice young female physiologist and um, she's pretty nice um something that i find difficult and i don't really get why they do it is like when I've gone for any of my of these kind of tests um they've wanted to like do my height and weight like check my height and weight um and I don't think I've gone onto this in videos but I have like an an issue with that um and yeah it's kind of linked to like in the past I had an eating disorder and I'm actually it's better for me to not know my weight and for other people not to know my weight like even then yeah because they kind of like pressurize you to be blind weight like so step on backwards but for me someone else who I haven't met before knowing my weight would be enough to like 
kind of set off my eating disorder um so it's actually a measure i put in place to stay healthy um and yeah so in the end like i've been able to find a way around that and that i explained that situation and said that i don't it's something that i refuse to do and that my gp does have a record of my height and weight like a recent record um but i don't know like what it is um yeah and she was happy to carry on on that basis um but yeah it's a bit of like an extra stress for me added in the actual test it was like it was actually quite a relaxing room because they have to do it in like quite a dark room um and it has like ultraviolet lights on it and yeah it was really it was quite a peaceful room <laughs> um so that was good um and it is like you have to it is like a bra situation which I was aware of and that is as I've said something I find difficult but basically what you do like you take the upper clothing off um and they give you like a gown and you wear it like backwards like a jacket so it does kind of cover <laughs> that that area and um yeah like I felt um okay about that and then they you yeah for the test you are generally like yeah, for all of it, you kind of lie on your side on a bed, um, not completely flat, like you're kind of propped up like that, so you're on your side, um, and yeah, the person doing the test, like, sits behind you with like kind of their, their side to you, um, which, yeah, is helpful because it's not like they're right in your face, like kind of scanning you, um, and then they kind of reach an arm over, and they put like the gel on, on your like on your chest um and which yeah it's quite cold but actually I found quite like relaxing I really was quite surprised because I was quite anxious about it but actually it turned out to be quite a relaxing experience in some places um yeah the test lasts about like I'd say half an hour to 40 minutes it's quite like thorough um yeah I haven't explained this basically what the test looks at like the ultra scan um the yeah the ultrasound for heart it like looks at the structure of the heart to see if there are ab many like abnormalities in the actual structure of your heart um yeah so yeah the so the person doing the test like sits back with you and then reaches over like with the the scanner um and all you have to really do is mostly just I then stay still I did find they do press like quite it feels quite hard like them pressing with like the scanner but it is not like uncomfortable it's just harder than I I thought and actually I found it quite relaxing like it felt like a kind of like a weird chest massage so yeah some of it was quite relaxing um the only things they kind of ask you to do is sometimes like to do like um, deep breaths and that kind of thing so they can see how your heart goes like when you're taking deep breaths and um, holding your breath and then breathing so there's like just things like that it's pretty simple and um, something I wasn't expecting is like one of the places they scan they like scan your neck which is like a bit uncomfortable it's just yeah it's not awful they don't like press very hard but um, I didn't, wasn't expecting that but apparently it's to see like one of the main arteries um yeah do you have that? I, yeah that's all i heard about it um and yeah that's all there kind of is to it like afterwards you just have to like they give you a towel to like wipe the gel off and you can like wipe some of it off on your gown and it was pretty easy to get off and i didn't like have a reaction to it and often i do to like because i have quite sensitive skin um so yeah that came up quite easily then they like let you get dressed um so actually yeah it was a much more straightforward and like yeah better experience than i thought it would be um yeah, it was almost quite a relief but mainly it was a relief just to have the test and know that it was out of the way after all like the toing and froing about turning up to my appointment and then not being able to have it um so yeah, if I hope this was helpful, if like this is a test that you're having to have and like, I've like sat 
our minds at ease about it um, because yeah this was something that I was quite worried about and in the end I found that it wasn't very anxiety provoking um, and yeah kind of as usual they can't tell you there and then if they found anything like wrong with your heart um, and they just like pass all the scans onto your like consultant and if there's usually if there is a problem then you hear about it sooner than, rather than later um and but the main thing is like that they've, they've picked it up whatever it is um yeah, so my stepdad's had them for issues that he's had with his heart and in his case like they did call but it it was a positive thing because it meant they had more knowledge about what was going on with his heart and they had caught it early um but it, yeah in my case i just um yeah i think i got a letter through like probably a month after or something like that and mine was normal which i was expecting or no abnormalities at all um yeah because in, in the case of pots like that often isn't so that's but it was reassuring to know it was the result I expected um but yeah reassuring to know um so yeah i hope this was helpful and hopefully you'll be seeing more videos from me sooner rather than later okay thank you for watching bye